Professor X working with negative and in Ravona is a whole different can of worms than the card. Than the card working in its current decks. And maybe it's problematic, but I'd be kind of surprised if it was problematic. Every time someone's like, this card, this change is bad because of negative, it's just like, when was the last time you played negative? I will, I will say the change to Professor X does not change the density of Thanos at all. It is all over. No, I think the Gladiator change was good. I think, I think Gladiator could probably go as high as 9 even card's clearly not overperforming and bumping it up steadily is, is a fine thing to be doing. Malavik, thank you for the gifted subs. That's super generous of you. Happy OTA day. Sarah next turn. I think I'm just playing Maximus out. Giving them cards kind of sucks, but I'm going to play Mysterio Hit Monkey Kitty Pride next turn. We live in the biggest of houses, opponent. Nobody, nobody shall play small cards here. Hitmonkey is 10 in the middle. Mysterio is four on the left. I'm adding a bunch to Bishop. Victory. I don't think they thought through their super scroll. I think they were just playing on curve and didn't realize they were going to goose themselves. Wanted. Thanks for the half a year. Welcome back. Opponent snapped. How does this area is Echo here? Uh, it depends on how much Professor X is going to exist in the metagame. Part of, part of the reason why Sarah has struggled is because Professor X was everywhere. And Goose, Goose and Echo are here because they make it so Professor X can't lock you out of particular paths. Our opponent is also playing Jeff, so... Space Throne is not a guarantee for us. Well, Hitmonkey's gone, right? So I should play Mysterio out on curve.
Hold magic is basically what if Kang was good. That's honestly a great way to put it. We have max plus Shang on the last turn. Six, 15 here in the center. We Shang Chi their blob on the right. They need another random two drop. That diner's nice and chunky before we cut it down. This, this honestly might be serviceable, gamers. Victory. Echo, Echo and Goose to push him around. I'm glad Echo is going to Series 4 so where people can pick her up because she feels really important in a lot of these. They are not a Thanos deck. We are both subterranean. It could be a Darkhawk deck that has Darkhawk. Apologies to anybody if you just heard a phone ding come through. Uh, with Olympia having popped off, I think I just like Tempo Max here. Just to get him out of my hand. just this and then we Sarah next turn because I don't want to proactively use the Enchantress on the Ravona because I think they're almost assuredly a Darkhawk deck so I think I want to be able to have that to clean up on the last turn yeah I told him about that yeah yeah that's good woohoo or we don't need Echo <laughs> I'm sorry you're fine it didn't go through to my phone hmm That's that's the good stuff, as we like to, uh, as we like to say, gamers. Thank you. Sometimes lucky rubber ducky. Casual thirty four power echo. 
she's beautiful. Do you do you? Does Echo need a nerf? That is the most. I appreciate you piping up for Twitch chat there, Lakar. You're, the, you're the hero we need. I am Iron Man. Truly, truly the voice of the people. Yep. Is she back, baby? Also, can we appreciate these split stacks together? Look at this gold with the purple border and the gold with the green border. Gorgeous. If the enchantress here to just trash can them on the left as well. Going on, no name. Victory. All right, I'm picking up what Sarah's putting down. Feel like, feel like I'm interested in. Diving into a, uh, a gold conquest. Punjabi, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. Base Echo deserves a border at least. We gotta get the regular splits out of the way sometimes. That's true. That's true. Maybe we'll maybe we'll gold her. Alright, today I don't foresee myself getting a variant anytime soon, so we can at least get her some 3D. I think I don't think the opponent's upset. I think they probably just like I've done this before, you just like close the app on mobile and forget to concede out. So they fist bumped us after it happens. I don't think they're mad. I think this is just like a Interface slash carbon error. Victory. And I'm G in a moment to step back after something like that. All right, I'm gonna let Sarah spend the gold ticket she earned, I think. We were mostly playing Proving Grounds and Silver, but this configuration feels relatively cohesive after slamming a couple of noodles. Let's see if she can take us all the way. I've not seen a Professor X since the power down, but we've also still been playing like Echo Goose deck, so if they have X, they haven't had good locations to play him out to. If that makes sense. Oh, snap. Our hand is very good. Holy. Opponent snap. Yeah, let's go, bud. Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six. Lamentus one is one of the more interesting locations in my opinion, when you get to just like look at it and be like, okay, what's my curve for the rest of this game? And they're a destroyed deck, rip. God, yikes. Wait, this changes things now, right? Yeah, yeah.
Bud. Bud, the Killmonger was your way to not lose this game. The Killmonger was how was how you were gonna not die. Okay, their hand is good. Thirty-two. You might be dead anyways, because they had they had Venom and Killmonger along with their their thing. They can't null Deadpool. They probably they probably have death is the problem. Arnim Arnim Zola is also in their output range. Oh. Taskmaster is not usually playing this archetype anymore. This is only 10, 20. This ties the Venom here. We're dead to Zola and we're dead to death, so I think we have to go. That's super unfortunate. When they kill Monger and I was optimistic. Escaped. Well, first game. Shuri's lab was definitely much better for them than us. So we're gonna miss on that at least. So greedy to play it here and not play it into the island. I suppose. Play Echo out. I'm not gonna have time to play her later, so I, I guess we'll put her here to cover Null, potentially. Twitch drop variant, it wasn't a pixel, but it was a leech. I can't tell if that's better or worse. LOL. This matchup's almost entirely about managing priority appropriately so we can Shang-Chi them on the final turn. A little bit of making sure we put our stats in the right places before that. Split's so good too. Speculative to put Angel Angel into the face down, but she's just not great in either of these two, so we'll go for speculative. I'm sorry, what? Take your cube and fuck off. Escaped. Are they not playing? No. 
so weird to put that into the into the negative zone. Hey, what's going on, Mike? Thanks for the 13 months. Welcome back. We've had a lot of space thrown during this set, yeah. A little unfortunate for our play to the locations deck. Oh, look! It's another location that's good for destroy. Neat. If Professor X really does die down a little bit, uh, Destroy is definitely the number one deck that stands to benefit the most from it. into Vormir next turn so we can set Sarah up there since we're a big house left and right. Enough said, Bob. You didn't go back middle again at least. Phoenix Ports also probably. That's a great shout, actually. Yeah, Phoenix Ports is a wonderful card that's just been completely out of commission due to the Professor X sense today. We never even really got a chance to play with it. That might be a fun one to do today. Probably got time for another deck or two after this one. Enough said, Bob. Uh, Vormir will destroy the Mysterio clone. So I could have. I could have use Mysterio to clear this instead of Echo, but I want to save Mysterio for potentially enabling Bishop or Hitmonkey if I draw them. Uh, just have to leave again. Yeah, once, they're, once they're in play, Mysterio and all his clones are different cards. And Mysterio is different than things like Squirrel Girl, Shauna, and Doctor Doom, where he counts as being played individually to each location. <laughs> and now that we're four to nine and we're in high stakes rounds, I'm just snapping here on anything. So I'm not going to win the game if I'm two to nine. So we need to win this four cuber and then maybe we can think about retreating in the next one if it's not quite good enough. This is a make or break type moment. Losing Echo actually doesn't matter in this matchup. Uh, that location's fine for us and probably not great for them. Mysterio clone turns into a random two drop there and uh, Goose is probably an upgrade in this matchup if we throw it into Tarnax. Get one more decent location for us over here and we'll be in a good spot. We got Angela into Bishop. location reroll. Come on! the kitty pride I wanted for Christmas chat. <sighs> Alright, eight power Deadpool. Max is not a bad draw. We're looking for hit monkey to finish the game out potentially. Shang-Chi would also be okay. We want not Kitty Pride here as our last draw. All right, successfully through priority, so Shang's alive drop.
I probably don't need Jeff on the right, actually. And I can get one more point on my bishop. This actually plays for all three really cleanly, right? Needs every, every bit of energy here, too. Okay, chip it. Dodge Shang Chi. <laughs> the good, the good news, the good news for them is they were torched. They were, they were dead either way. Still, still kind of funny, but they were dead either way. I didn't play Echo left because Olympia is a path that I can play um, Angela to and play three cards after her. So I explicitly did not play into Olympia because I wanted I wanted a clean path for Angela to play into. And then we got super rewarded with the raft here. I don't think Goose really has text in this matchup, especially not with Elysium, so I think I'd rather hold Max and not give them cards here. Yeah, they do have, they do have the opportunity to uh, kill Monger Kitty Prey here, potentially. Enough said. Okay, and then X23 going left is perfect for us because that means we don't have priority, so my Kitty Pride's no longer in danger. Insane raft hit. Absolute tops. And then if I just decline to blink for the next turn as well, we should be able to not have priority going into turn six, meaning our Shang-Chi is live on top of everything else. this so I get to draw a card next turn, right? It'll be guaranteed to be Bishop. Oh, Angela's in my deck too. Good take. Oh, well, because Angela's in my deck, I probably shouldn't have put Jeff here. Yeah, he can't move. It doesn't matter. Either, either of our draws are solid here. Step one, all the time, every time. There's so many permutations here. I 
think it's Shang mid. So that way, uh, my Mysterios play through. And then... I think I just put a bunch of numbers over here. Because Magneto might pull one or two of these over this way. I think I like this. They obviously get to play on a bunch of cards too, though. I believe we're good. I think we were good regardless of which of those we pulled. Okay, we're not we're not done yet. So like we're we're no longer behind in the total conquest matchup, but we're four to two. So they only have to win two in a row, which isn't impossible. We just won two in a row. Couple of shots. Magneto plus Shang middle, what last game was not guaranteed to pull Venom. It could have pulled the characters on the left. Well, I don't think that play was very good. doesn't really impact their deck. So I think I just want less points on the board. So I can Sarah into a bunch of stuff on the last turn and Goose gives Hitmonkey plus two. Leaving more cards in my hand is better into Grand Central as well. So that way Grand Central is less likely to pull something that I don't want it to pull. That's gross. If 12 power Deadpool in their hand, plus two more cards. They are on the Taskmaster world, is noteworthy. There's our Shang-Chi. It's unfortunate I have to play this here. We could we could end up taking priority here. to come in left like Goose or Maximus. Not that one. I wanted not that one. Fucking rip. The most I can do, I think. I can ship to the Deadpool is the problem. They didn't want Death Pulled. Was Death free? Death might have been free. Feel like it's impossible for them to lose this.
All right, last game for all the marbles. Did our we did our best to claw back from the free four pointer they got in Lamentus to start this. But it's been a good back and forth set of marble snap either way. The opponents played pretty well. It's not the start they want in their game for all the marbles. Probably the best draw in my deck. It is worth noting if they continue putting nothing into play, I do have to start working, worrying about um, Killmonger on my what's her name? Not anymore. Yep. It's probably one of the best turn threes they could have after not doing anything for the first couple of turns. Bishop, Bishop. This Twitch stream is pre-recorded, etc., etc. I think I am not playing Bishop here because I want this to be available for Shang-Chi to clean out. Enough said, Bob. And there she is, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Can I compete in all three lanes? I, th I think I can. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is 14. I take the Monster Metropolis bonus. I'm at 17, 21 here. I'm gaining one, two, three. I played seven, so I'm going 13 here to 16. Yeah, I don't think they can null in death. You think death's a three cost right now? I think this is my play. I think it's no Shang-Chi. Intense set. Our name. Our name is not in their deck. Just test buster. yet but not quite as intense as these adverts are about to see we'll see you for round two of the gold conquest with sarah in 120 seconds thanks for hanging out don't go anywhere destroy destroy games tend to be genuinely interesting to navigate that felt that felt solid Yes, the opponent uh, username title was Your Mama is a Ho Ho Ho. Did 
As nature to heal house matches of art. We we felt competitive into Blob Thanos. And we felt competitive into Destroy. So yeah, maybe this is fine. I'm, le I'm leaning towards this is more fine than more not fine. I imagine we're close to zero percent to Loki. Yeah, but Loki's not been popular. You're you're right though. I don't I don't have room to play Mobius in my deck. So I would I would assume that Loki probably outpowers us. I don't know. I guess I would bet. I would bet we probably don't have priority going into turn six against Loki. So I don't I don't know that it's unwinnable. I think I think we we stick a Sarah and have a Shang-Chi on a collector and we have a chance. But I bet you're better than zero percent. Robin, thanks for the primer. Best to be to hang out for Twitch drops by and by. Thanks for choosing to do them here, Big Mama. Round two, fight. I usually like playing Echo Middle in the Dark just because there's enough Miss Marvel in the format that that often pays off. Shadow, thanks for the new primer. Really do appreciate those prime subs. Like I broke down my one year in a review video last month. The most significant part of my income here on Twitch are those prime subs. They're a big part of why I'm able to do what I do. Smells like Hawk. I think it's just a, a past Sarah angle here. If there if there wasn't a Gulia on the right here, I think I'd snap them at this point. They just voluntarily put a bunch of rocks in their deck. Oh snap! Not a snap now on the Enchantress draw, I think. A month ago, Loki decks were debated between Elsa and Werewolf by Night. With both of them taking a hit, our Loki is relying on Collector completely as a stat stick in case of a Loki flop. I had no idea. I mean, I don't think Loki was very good. Loki was having middling statistics before the Werewolf nerf, but I can't imagine it's better now. Okay. So, they can't play an ongoing card middle, which is probably their primary way to make numbers. 
So if I do Shang-Chi here, Mysterio, Hitmonkey, should be, should be good, right? They play Ronin or Hawk. They'd have to, they'd have to play something that doesn't die to Shang. I'm going to nine plus another five, I'm going to 14. That's like a four or five power thing here. Hey, Silic. Thank you for the entire year. Let's get your sword to go with that shield. Yeah, I think this is it. They're retreating, okay. It's another, this is another kind of matchup where Echo is really good, huh? Echo, Echo to proactively push them out of a lane and then Enchantress slash Shang to clean up another seems real solid. People putting Black Widow in their Ronin decks is real strange though. That's something people always do. They see like the text add a card on it. Just like go, go whole hog. Yeah, yeah, Black Widow adds a card to the opponent's hand and they stop kind of processing that from there. Really want to draw Kitty, Echo, or Jeff next turn. Which is half our draws, so, you know, not all bad. Echo, Echo, Echo. Do I pivot, though? Part of me, part of me wants to just do this now. But I guess at the same time, I want Echo to reactively purge something later, right? Please be a Dark Hawk. Please be a Dark Hawk. That's... I realistically can't throw priority here, but they also might play out an ongoing card proactively, so... We'll see. Forked my Shang. Maybe they thought I didn't have Enchantress Edition to Echo. Seems like a tough matchup for them. Oh yeah, Maximus with their Dark Hawk too. Victory. <laughs> All the, all the one. I mean, maybe they only ever plan to play out one of them. Who? I don't. I don't know. Who knows? Who am I? Who are we to judge? I for for the record, I think, I think there is a Dark Hawk Ronin deck that's probably reasonable and fine. It just probably doesn't involve Maximus and Widow. We have we've played Dark Hawk Ronin before. And I don't, I don't think it's bad. Hey, you remember when Hawk released and everyone was like, why don't you play Ronin? Or why don't you play Maximus? I remember. I remember. This 
but also playable. Yeah, I think Widow is great. I think the, I think Second Dinner's assessment that their Widow change was a lateral change, meaning that it wasn't really a buff or a nerf. It's just different. I think that's very, very true. There's some debate on if I should play this or not because of priority. I might, I might actually just play a pig. You could also be right to just straight do nothing. You're probably playing like a big card though at some point, right? Okay, so then I get to put Sarah here so we don't have priority. Snap. Snap. Uh, I have not played Bounce. Werewolf Bounce is a deck that needs to be completely rethought. I don't, I don't have an answer to what that looks like. If I Shang here, I'm going to eight, eight to their two. So I think we do this and then this. No. I think it's Shang, this, this, this. Get my hand as empty as possible for a Ronin. made it so I couldn't shake G the Darkhawk. <laughs> it, de it, de it definitely did that. How about a Ronin clutter mix could limit the board space and keep the hand bullish? I just don't know that. I just don't know that that's better than the other payoffs inside of the clutter deck, I guess. You also can't play Black Widow with Ronin, which is one of the better clutter cards. All right, final boss chat. Can Sarah convert to an infinite ticket for us? Oh my gosh, are we playing a mirror for the final boss? Oh my gosh, we're playing a mirror for the final boss! We broke it! Dex cracked! I think Black Widow is still one of the better clutter cards. Yeah, I think so. All right, well, Sarah Control is 4-0-ing one way or another, gamers. Or 3-0-ing one way or another. 
We're gonna find you. We're gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one day, maybe next year. A uh, shout out consistently good your YouTube videos have been keep it up. Thanks for the, the two months prayer. Appreciate you hanging out. Okay, not an exact beer. Some type of uh, dark hawk looking pile of cards. Ant Man! What has got some spice? None of Grand Central was good for us. That's probably the least bad. Oh, interesting. Well, that was a hell of a draw. Um, they're playing like Hawk Bounce with Ant-Man. If I Boomer Snap them, do you think they stay? Oh, snap. Let's find out. Sure do. All right, giddy up, cowboy. Ride, Sally, ride. All right, cut him down, Shang. Heave, ho. Boop him, boop him on the nose. Enchantress. A little bit of monkey business going on in this here match. Generally speaking, this matchup tends to be favored for the Sarah deck, but that historical reference is usually when Sarah's playing Killmonger. So without Killmonger, I would wager this is more challenging for us. Echo, Echo and Goose basically don't have text here. Oh, snap. They have Black Widow though. I wonder if they have... Opponent snapped. I wonder if they have uh, Darkhawk in their deck still. And Echo has text at least. This is one of the most skill testing matchups in the history of the game. Yeah, I'd buy that for a dollar. They might be beasting the left here. Yeah, rip. Honestly, there's a chance we should go next. Sure, he's live, isn't it? Obviously much better for them than us. I'm gonna play Angel on the left optimistically in case we peel Kitty Bright next turn. Because our out to maybe be in this game. Yeah, they're on they're on Beast and Falcon. They are much better into lab than we are. I agree that Ant-Man is a strange inclusion in their archetype. Hawkeye. Hawkeye is very reasonable. That's fine. We want an 8-cuber. They can have two back here with good location variants, so we'll get them in one of the next four. I was like, why are they playing the hit monkey back out? Because they wanna they wanna best.
Hey, you can replace Echo with any tech card of your choice. You just need to accept slash understand if you're cutting Echo from this deck, you're going to have a significantly worse, um, you're going to have a significantly worse lockout matchup. Are we going to win this? It feels like we might fucking win this, chat. If they play Kitty on the right, she's 12, right? So she gets chopped down. That's close. I think there's permutations of the way this plays out that we can win this. I just Havoc in their bounce deck. I don't understand. I don't understand why Havoc is in their bounce deck. Alright, yeah, we're good, right? Hit monkey is big and then doubles. should tweet that one huh we'll probably have a highlight of the run at some point but i feel like proving grounds through infinite ticket feels like a, a good show and maybe we'll check untapped i don't think i'd change anything here i think goose and echo are, are two of your tech slots and i want those to like keep professor x and blob decks down and the rest of it felt real clean new max is real solid here <laughs> 